IGF should do what it does well and not do what other people are already doing, right? I mean, one of the concerns that I have is, is that IGF has a tremendously important function right now. Uh, it serves as, is the, is, it is really the one place that you can go in the world where you get people from all the different walks of life, from all different countries, from all different sectors and perspectives in one room to talk about some of these big overarching issues. The minute that, and so, and so one of my concerns is, is that we don't want that, the, the IGF as we know it to go away. There's some concern about it being pulled in more into the UN system, and the well, I understand the arguments behind it. The downsides are, are much greater than the upsides because when it comes down to it, the UN system works on the basis of, com of countries. Countries vote, countries talk, countries have rights. Really, nobody else does because that's the way they're organized, which is fine for what it is. But we want a system where everyone, the independent non-GO NGO sector, the private sector. The, um, the government sector can all get together in one place. And so changing that fundamental piece of the IGF, I think, would be a mistake. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I think fundamentally IGF as a, as, a, as a voting body doesn't make sense. There are already other voting bodies that do that relatively well. This is a unique space, and it has unique value. I learn stuff every time I come here, and I would, I would, I would be very sad to see that happen.